And with that, welcome to Team Misfit. Uh, another hack that we got for Hack Gem 5 that we're going to get right into. In the sleepy settlement of Capin Town, there was a peculiar guild full of peculiar Pokemon. In a world where humans were rare heroes, a guild full of humans must have been destined for greatness. Despite many ups and downs, the Clover Guild managed to establish itself and thrive. Of this growing guild, one of the guild members was particularly special. Rumored to be the best lover on the continent, our stories focus on the exploits of a singularly gifted Cyndaquil. I have heard things about this game. Yes, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, what are you doing? I'm getting a head start on my autobiography. This was Fanby, a human turned Pokemon. He was the leader of Team Only Fans. Alright. The exploration team of our protagonist. Fanby was a stern Pokemon with a tendency towards overthinking himself. He spent many long nights filling out paperwork by candlelight to keep the guild running. Still, all of that time as a desk jockey left Fanby with a plump rear. The kind you want to sink both hands into. The strict bookish personality also had its own appeal. Uh, it was the same niche occupied by the sexy librarian. Cinder Quill would rate him a solid 8 out of 10. I can read every word you're writing. While you're reading, can you give some me some feedback? You were there for all of my adventures. You got the, our team name wrong, we were team misfits. Well, I like my name better. Should you really be telling people we're a bunch of humans? I swear I won't punch it until I'm dead or uh, and buried. It doesn't have to focus so much on my ass. It is critical to my life story. Fine, then how about today Syndicate went outside and got work done for once? Well, I'm just in the introduction right now, I'll get to that stuff later. You misunderstand, we've got a job today. Alright. Took you too long enough. This was Torchic, a former human and member of Team Only Fans. Usually the most level-headed Pokemon on the team. He has difficult, uh, difficulties maintaining her balance now that she no longer has arms, usually carried by Fanby. Together they can provide a ranged fire support, like the bird and elephant version of a horse archer. Weighing at a mere 3 kilograms, with a height of 40 centimeters, she will, well, she was well within imagined territory, easy 7 out of, what the fuck? What is he doing now? He's, dis he's decided to write his autobiography. Why is he narrating it out loud? This sounds fun to me next. This was Totodile, the fourth human member of Team OnlyFans, a jovial and outgoing person and a chronic alcoholic. I mean, it's something, I don't know. He usually only packs alcohol on our mission, but he and Fampy are the main fighters on our team. Personally, I prefer to solve problems with the power of love. On that note, Total I had a sleek, uh, sleek reptilian body, probably cold-blooded, but the alcohol would keep uh, you feeling warm. The experience would likely be enjoyable, but neither of you would remember it clearly in the morning. 7 out of 10. Uh, 6 out of 10. I mean... Yeah, alright. Will you knock it off? We have escort duty, so I need you to control yourself. We all know that won't happen. Yeah, it won't. Why did you take an escort job? I didn't. We won the lottery. Is the climb that bad? No clue. All I know is that nobody wants to babysit in a dungeon. But you guys keep me around. At least we can make you carry everything. Are you 40 misfits? I prefer Team OnlyFans, but a classy lady like yourself can call us whatever you want. Dude, you don't have to step so hard, you're gonna break my foot. I told you, not around the client. Are you all set, miss? Of course, and just me and Shao is fine. Want anything to drink? I got whiskey, vodka, rum. Is it normal to bring this much alcohol on expedition? <laughs> For me it is. <laughs> well, it couldn't hurt to indulge a little, maybe when we stop somewhere to camp. It'll be a party. Now that we're all here, can you tell us a little about your request, me and Chao? Your job posting only said you wanted to go sightseeing. Ah uh, yes, I suppose uh, it was a bit vague. I was married once, to an explorer. I want to revisit the places we went to together, and maybe find some keepsakes to remember him by. I already have our road planned out. 
uh, me and Chow gave Fanby her itinerary? I don't know. Anyways, right, just follow us. Scenic forest. Alright, do we have change? Um, mission objectives. I mean, we do at least. Also, why is the Pokemon we're escorting uh, like 35 levels higher than myself? What the fuck is that? Uh, the user performs strange conturation, usually accompanied by, endl by endless babbling by the user. Thought to be the courtship ritual of a now extinct species has no effect. Alright. Cool. And Totodile is something I cannot access the moves of. But that basically means Cynical is absolutely fucking useless. Alright, but we also appear to be Fear already. Is this it? From the name, I was expecting something more. It's less impressive this time of year. Every fall, when the Gracidia flowers bloom, the shaman pass through here as part of their yearly migration. This is one of the first places my husband took me to. I still remember the vibrant colors of the autumn leaves, the sweet, uh, sweet smell of the flowers. Shaman migrate? They're in a nomadic tribe. Every year they leave everything they own behind to start somewhere fresh. I could never live that kind of life. Pardon me for a moment. Can one of you four help me? I would like to take one of these flowers home for my garden. Sure. Everything is going well so far. And Sinekwil has kept his mouth shut. You better make, up, make it up to me, Fanby. Just look at her figure. Okay. I'll do something for you when we get back to town, uh, but only if your request isn't stupid. You gotta come bar hopping with me in Totodile. We need someone to keep score. Keep score? Yeah, the rules are pretty simple. Totodile drinks and I hit on the many, many lovely bar patrons. Just count how many drinks Totodile finishes and how many times I get rejected. Highest score at the end of the night wins. Is that what you two spend all your money on? Neither of us can count past 10 by the end of the night, or remember what happened the next day. Every weekend, it's been a draw. We need a sober judge. We found you, Mian Zhao. Prepare to be brought to justice. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you two are talking about. Might you have me confused with someone else? Did we get the wrong Pokemon? I don't know, the wanted poster said Mian Zhao would be here. Isn't her picture on the wanted poster? Maybe? I, I can't tell from just one picture. Then let's just arrest her and let Officer Magnuson sort it out. Who are these four? Your gang members? Uh, we're Team Misfits. We've been escorting me and Shao through this dungeon. We're from the Clover Guild. Maybe you've heard of it? We're a pretty big deal. Clover Guild? Wait, I've heard of you. Aren't you some kind of sex offender? <laughs> I was only arrested once and that was for disturbing the peace. I haven't committed any sex crimes. As you can see, everything here is above board. We're just enjoying a pleasant stroll through the forest. I don't buy it, you and that Syndicate must be plotting something. A pity, I was hoping that we could sell this peacefully. Uh, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, the four of us couldn't negotiate our way out of a paper bag. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Enough talking, we're here to take you in, me and Chow. And Syndicate too, I guess. But I didn't even... Alright! I mean... Sure! Um, let me, let me, let me have a look. Uh, why do I have Ember on Fanby, actually? Or Throne Torching? Wait, wait, what? Fanby throws Torching at the target and inflicts damage... <laughs> wait, what? Ah. Oh. It only uses basic... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, attack animations, unfortunately. <laughs> that would have been fucking cool if we could actually throw Torchings. But I'm pretty sure Mian Shao is going to deal with it. Alright, they're just not that strong. What if they think they could handle a 4 on 2 fight? This must be some kind of sneaky trick to get us a lower or a guard. I think they're just stupid. Regardless of what they were thinking, we should leave before they wake up. Oh, they just walk through them. Alright. Lazy River. Uh, 
I mean, sure. Alright, I mean, the story and humor is a thing... Uh, let's just call it, it's a thing for itself. And found we found an item somewhere. Ah, oh, pickups that exist as an ability here, and these are a lot of orange berries. This seems to have more flaws than the first one. Alright. Or does it? I don't, know. I don't actually know. Anyways, um, and so our heroes continued their journey across the country. They were over the river and through the woods, but the grandmother's house was nowhere in sight. What are you talking about? He's writing an autobiography. Why is he reading it to us? I don't think even he knows. And that Ardo's nature of Fenby's request rested heavily upon Sinequil's brow. Sinequil's thirst was becoming unbearable. Sooner or later, something had to give. I still have plenty of water if you want some. Just ignore him. This seems like a good enough place to camp for the night. Is it drinking time? I believe it is. Thank you. Thanks. I don't drink on missions. Well, I do, and I need you to hold the bottle for me. Come on, Fanby. I brought enough for everybody. Don't hold back for my sake. I don't mind if you unwind a little. Ah, fine. Stop giving me the crocodile tears, so did I. The tears aren't fake. You do this every time I don't want to go drinking with you. He'd stop doing it if you'd stop falling for it. True. So me and Shao, are you enjoying your trip? It's been lovely. I've been cooped up inside for a while, so it has been nice to get out and see the world again. And what's with all the junk we've been picking up? It's none of your business what our client. I don't fully know. Well, that's a dramatic uh, change of um, tone. His death was a sudden one. A hazard of the job. They couldn't recover his body, so I never really got to say goodbye. I guess I'm looking for something I can hold on to, something to remember him by. I wish I had something to remember to remind me of everyone back home. Back home? One day I had to leave my home behind. I didn't even get to see my family before I left. How horrible! A lot of us at the guild went through something like that. The Clover Guild took us in and gave us somewhere to belong. It makes it a little easier knowing you have people to talk to. Mm, I suppose you're right. It felt nice to get that off my chest. That's the spirit. I've always found that being miserable with friends helped cheer me up. Besides, it'd be a shame to let tears stay in that lovely fuzzy chest. Yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to slip that in there. I mean, it came out a bit prematurely. I was trying to hold it in. Oh, fucking hell. I've been a bit pent up, so just ca I don't fucking know. This is the kind of thing that has never happened to me before. It must be the whiskey. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> and it, uh... uh Alright. Thank god she didn't get mad. Thank you, I didn't mean to ruin the mood. Yeah, no problem, I'm just trying to cheer, cheer you up. You're an awful liar. He really is. Please, for once in my life, let me pretend to be socially gifted. I might if you could go on one mission without hitting on our client. Don't worry about me, your guild already has quite a reputation. I was prepared for someone like Cynequil to be my escort. Was that a wink? Is she trying to make fun of me? But why did you hire us? You're better than the rest of us at fighting. Not that I don't want to get paid. Oh, that's simple. 
I needed someone to carry everything. But enough about me. I've been talking your ears off this entire journey. I want to hear more about you four. Well... Let me tell you about the time I got arrested. Okay... I don't fucking know. But I'm sure it works for some people. And it actually does. I mean, in the English, it kind of sounds like a renamed uh, quick attack. Or it looks like a renamed quick attack. Mostly. Uh, so I am not quite sure if this is actually a custom custom move. It could as well be. Used glass him. Alright, unfortunately I cannot look at Totodile's moves. So, what's the story with this place? Uh, we used to come here during the winter to ice skate. I had to teach him how to skate, you should have seen it. He always tried to act stoically, but the frustrated look he had every time he slipped on the ice was so adorable. I guess the story was a little banal this time. I think it's sweet, sometimes I like to think that the little, uh, the little things are the most important. You're right. Too bad it isn't winter yet. I could teach you a thing or two about figure skating. We could still go swimming. I suppose we can. I think I'm going to join them. Can you two keep an eye on our things? Don't worry about it. It's my only job. I know it wasn't intentional, but good job handling me and Chow the other night. Huh? Doesn't she seem a bit happier? Like there's a little more life in her eyes. I guess she does now that you mention it. I'll be honest, my eyes were focused a bit lower than that. Alright. Why did I expect anything different? I'm going to take a dip in the lake. Yeah, I'd recommend you take a cold shower. Is everyone ready to continue? I believe we have everything. I'm still surprised one of my ice skates were still at the bottom of the lake. I lost it when the ice broke underneath me my husband had to pull me out of the water. We'll get you this time, me and Johnson and Nequil. What? Did you get your big brother to come fight for you? Yes. Hey, you're sure this is the right Pokemon, right? Last time you had me help, you turn, it turned out... Yeah, we're sure, 100% positive. Are you really sure? Uh, how should we know for sure? Outlaws always look this, uh, all look the same to me. Bro, we've talked about this. You can't just say that kind of thing to other Pokemon. Mom and Dad raised us better than that. I know that they're outlaws, but that doesn't mean we can stoop to their level. As explorers, we should be holding ourselves to a higher standard. We can talk about that later, we're arguing in front of the outlaws. Fine. But we're having a long tongue, a talk when we get home. Alright. Uh, I do have Ember, don't I? Yeah. For some reason, I do. Well, that's it with Blastoise. And apparently I was supposed to lose. I guess. I don't know. I know you. You're that me and Shao. You finally came out of hiding. Sorry about my little bro. He has a, bit ha a bad habit of talking before thinking. And you have a bad habit of talking when you should be fighting. Should I have lost? Should I have not lost? I have no fucking idea. So, you really are an outlaw. It's just a simple case of mistaken idea. You're a stronger fighter than the rest of our team combined. You said you haven't had the chance to go outside for a while and you're being hunted by exploration teams. You're an outlaw and you've been living in some kind of safe house up until now. Hmm. I guess there's no point in playing coy. Yes, my husband and I were outlaws. We took what we wanted by any means necessary until our crimes finally caught up with us. Do you plan on turning me in? <laughs> of course not. I think you're a good Pokemon. 
Are you sure? My list of crimes is quite long. Well, you have been nice to us. I've also been deceiving you. It doesn't matter. That's all in the past now. Maybe you've earned your redemption. Maybe you haven't. I don't know me and Shao the criminal. I only know me and Shao the Pokemon. Yeah, we're friends now, me and Shao. I guess. <laughs> you guys are hopeless. An outlaw would take advantage of your kindness. But you aren't going to. If you wanted to do that, then you would have left us behind to be arrested. I did consider it. But you didn't do it. I guess I'm getting soft in my old age. What will you uh, for do now? Is this the part uh, where we part ways? No. We help our friends. She's an outlaw. Helping her would be crime. Wouldn't be the first time we've broken the law. <laughs> and it wouldn't be the last. Fine. That's what you guys want to do. I guess I'm outvoted. By my estimates, there's still plenty of places we have to visit before this job is over. Well, no time like the present. Let's get moving before another uh, exploration team shows up. Hey, wait for me. Uh, I wish me and Shao didn't want so many souvenirs. There's hardly any room left in my bag for supplies. Alright, Sandstone Cave. Should do the trick two times, probably. Alright, there's another one. I unfortunately did not get any stab moves, so um yeah, that's that. Yeah, Ember should do the trick here, though. Take a shot, alright. Take a shot is just swagger. Yes, and they should be also through uh, this dungeon. And there they are. <sighs> Can we stop for a second? I feel like my bag is about to give out. Maybe you should try hitting the gym sometime. Shut up. Like, you have room to talk. You get Fanby to carry you everywhere. Stop right there. We've got your number this time, me and Chow. I suppose, as they say, the third time is the charm. It is. This time we brought more back up. And they are way stronger than my stupid brother. Bro. So you have... Hmm, we can't win, we can't win this fight. Can you four handle Squirtle and Chikorita? I can handle the stupid brother. Once we take care of them, we run. There's no way we can outrun Officer Magazone with everything I'm carrying. Drop the bag. But... Drop it. Right. All set. Just follow my lead. Okay. I think we lost him. Seems like this mission was a failure. My apologies. The job's not over yet. We can still find you plenty of souvenirs. Even after all those years, there's still a bounty on my head. We've evaded captures so far, but next time they'll bring even more explorers. Well, maybe we can go back and get the bag I dropped. Mm, doubtful. I'm a thief. They probably kept the bag, thinking everything in it was stolen. Tragic, isn't it? All of that work for naught. Does it matter? Everywhere we've gone, you've had a story to tell. Even without anything to hold in your hands, you remember the times you've shared with your husband. So it doesn't matter if you don't have any souvenirs. In the end, the important part is your memories. Mm, you're right. No matter where I go, I'll keep those memories with me. I wouldn't want to impose, but there's one last place I want to go. It isn't on the it itinerary, I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. But it would mean the world to me if we went there. Can we fam fam fampy? I wasn't going to say no, I'm not heartless. 
Right, that means one last dungeon, apparently. Which is actually just Peach Cave. And it seems to be a completely unchanged Peach Cave. Alright. I did forget to check the mission objectives, uh, which is only says we have a stolen item here. So maybe they aren't actually changed at all and the one thing was actually just a dummy text in the first dungeon. That could be the case. I'm not quite sure. That one probably actually has beach cave length. All right. Uh, what did you two do here? Nothing. The first time I've ever been to this beach is right now, with you four. I wanted to see at least one new place with all of you before we had to part. So this really is goodbye? I'm afraid it is. I'm still a wanted outlaw, and I wouldn't want to get my friends involved in my sordid past. Thank you. For helping this odd widow relieve her, uh, relieve her past. For payment, I'm sure I can find something. Don't worry about it. The memories are what's important, right? You're right. I guess I can't steal a souvenir of you either. You've already stolen my heart, what the fuck? I'm sure I can take just a little piece. Your heart's big enough to survive that. So, what will you do now? Who knows? I'll probably find somewhere secluded uh, to while away the days. What? English? Maybe I'll write an autobiography. Like Cynical. I'm sure it'd be a great read. Definitely better than whatever Cynical will come up with. I haven't even finished the first draft yet. I agree with Cynical. It may not be quality literature, but at least let him finish the draft before you tear him down. Hey, I have plenty of time to go on interesting adventures. I'm still young and in my prime. Do you really have to go? We could hide you in the guild. I wouldn't want to get your guild in trouble. What about... And I wouldn't want this farewell to get so sad. Sorry. And just as quickly as she had entered Team Misfit's life, Mirza had left. She left no physical evidence of her passing, but the time they spent with her would always hold a special place in their hearts. That was worth more than any other treasure she could have given them. Credits, like by Fanon. Right. Mm -hmm. The end. And the piece on a black screen. Alright, that was Team uh, Misfits. Definitely one with a special set of humor, which is definitely not for everyone, but um, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. But yeah, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, well, until the next time, I wish you all a great day, night, evening, whatever and bye.